Hi, my name is Matt Barr and I play football for Kent State. And out here we are right now building a basketball court and uh, the work we've been doing has been in a lot of the tent seat. Um, it's a lot different than like practicing for football or training for that. Uh, we've been moving a lot of dirt, mixing cement by hand, which is a lot different. Um, we've been doing a lot of moving stones, laying bricks. Um, it's way different than like lifting or running for football just because of uh, the intensity of the heat, we're not like, used to that very much, but it's been a lot of fun. The workers have been great. Um, having everyone around you that you're friends with has been really fun. And it's been a great experience to try and help this community. Jalen Avery from the men's basketball team. And I think sports can really help these kids just to help build more of a sense of uh, teamwork and to allow them to be able to build relationships throughout their community. I think it's important that we build this court to be able to um, show them more sports that are out in this world to show them um, how far sports can get you in life as far as being able to meet people and um, come together as a community. I'm Nani Moxley and I play volleyball. Um, I think the hardest part for us here has been the heat. Um, a lot of people from Ohio aren't used to being in 90 degree weather with 90% humidity um, where it feels like you're in 110 degrees. But everyone's been working really, really hard and taking a lot of water breaks, which has helped. Um, the community's been awesome. We've had a lot of popsicles um, and really refreshing Coke and Fanta, which isn't what we usually drink, but it's been amazing to help us cool off. So, um, yeah, I think the hardest thing has been the heat, but everyone's been working really hard and it, it's made it much easier. Hey, I'm Josh Gogan. I'm on the men's cross country and track team. Uh, so, like, the basic living conditions here, like, this is the hardest part, I would say. Uh, we have dirt floors, no electricity, no shower, basically. I shower with a bucket, from a, and I use the spout that's, like, right outside. Uh, at night, it's pitch black. We just go by candlelight and flashlights just to see, uh, see where we're going. And it's always super hot, even at night. <laughs> You're just sleeping in sweat. Um, I'm Amy Cover. I'm from the volleyball team. And today we are at the Chocolate Festival. And it's kind of, I would say, similar to an American kind of art festival. There's tents everywhere, up and down the street, and just little crafts. And then there's also a lot of Mayan chocolate, which is delicious. And just a bunch of different foods you can try, and different chocolate shops, and then a bunch of live music. It, we walked around for a really long time and it was super fun. Hi, my name is Alyssa Quinlan. I'm on the gymnastics team and we're at the Cacao Festival here in Belize. And today I tried termite chocolate, first time ever, and I didn't puke, I was so excited. Um, we are also just here visiting the coastline and having a great old time. The sun is super hot, but you know, it's live and learn with it. It's a lot of fun. I would suggest coming here. My name is Heather Youngkin. I'm with the women's volleyball team. Um, being here and Playing with all the kids and having three kids in our host parents' house has really made the experience a lot better. I think a lot of us were thinking about how hard this was and then we'd see the kids come down for recess and like that kind of just gave us the extra oomph that we needed. Um, I think learning about how laid back, I guess you could say, like as Americans we're kind of like go, 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 but from the oldest person in the village to the kids they're kind of like it's okay to just relax after a hard day's work and we're more like, we have to do it now. But I think taking away from this experience, it's really humbled me a lot, getting to know the kids. Hi, it's Jordan Krenick from Women's Basketball. Um, it's day six of being in Belize and um, one of the most interesting parts of this experience has been all the different foods we've tried. Um, we eat similar foods to America, like chicken, eggs, and rice, but um, they pair it with tortillas a lot that they um, make using their hands. Um, behind us, we're actually in a, at a waterfall cooking chicken over an open fire. So, and we've tried various fruits that we have in America, like pineapple. Um, we've also tried papaya. And one of our favorite dishes has been cahoon cabbage, which is the heart of a palm tree. Hi, my name is Katie Schilling. I'm assistant director of student athlete development for Kent State Athletics. Uh, starting this project um, and started planning 11 months ago. I can't believe we're here on our last day. Um, and our student athletes have done such an amazing job uh, fighting through what's probably the hottest we'll ever experience. Um, and also to everything else that um, has been different for them. Um, I'm impressed with all of our staff members who came and all of our student athletes and couldn't be more proud. I think bringing this back to Kent State University um, and 
having them share their experience with their uh, teammates will be huge because I think they've learned a lot about themselves um, and as a leader. My name is Matt Payton and I am the Assistant Director of Athletic Marketing here at Kent State. And the best part about our trip to Al Ghadi was that when we left Kent, our goal was to make a positive impact on the community and to help them grow. And it turned out to be quite the opposite. We got down there, they really welcomed us into their homes, they really taught us a lot about who we are as people, uh, both mentally and physically. And they introduced us to this new cultural norm that it's not about me, it's about us and the community um, and the ability to work together as a team to achieve common goals. and coming back to Kent State, I hope that we can introduce that cultural norm and to help people understand that there's more to life than how many likes you can get on Instagram and having the latest and greatest iPhone and the most high paying job and that it's really important to enjoy the small things in life and make those and the people around you be what matters. My name is Louis Kokol, I'm the principal of the school, Agropathy School. I am running the school for the past 23 years, so I know my school good. And, uh, I'm really impressed to see the court almost completed. It's one of my biggest dreams to have a court for Aguacatares school. We have been uh, very active in sports, in sports of volleyball, softball and soccer, except basketball. And I think having a basketball court will really go along with it. Again, I want to assure you that Aguacate has been a unique school. And I'm glad that um, Kent University was able to assist because we have been successful academically in, as well as in sports. So with this big, big help, we will go a long way.